the 1990s, Kenya was robbed of $600 million in what is known as the Golden Bug Scandal, a gold smuggling operation that almost bankrupted the country. The mastermind behind this was Kamlesh Patni, who later became a self-proclaimed pastor and goes by the name Brother Paul. After years of prosecution, Patni was acquitted, but now he's back in business, this time in Zimbabwe, according to a recent investigative report by Al Jazeera. It's not in the books in uh, Hong Kong or China. It is black money. So how did Patni do it? In this video, we'll discuss how Patni laundered gold and how you can identify similar fraudulent schemes. So let's dive in. Kamlesh Patni, a son of Mombasa gold jailed dealer, was only 25 when he took advantage of the government's export compensation scheme and committed one of Kenya's biggest theft of public coffers. Patni's company, Golden Bank International, was registered to import and export any or all types of minerals, including gold. The company engaged in currency dealings, whereby money will be sent abroad and wired back to Kenya as proceeds of export. The company took advantage of various economic schemes crafted by the Central Bank of Kenya and the Ministry of Finance by carrying out fraudulent business deals. These schemes involve export compensation, pre-shipment finance, retention accounts, forex certificates, sports and forward contracts, as well as check knitting. Partly started small, but when he presented these first nine export compensation forms to the bankers, the central bank and the bank observed some anomaly. Golden Bank was purchasing hard currency at the local market, depositing them at the bank account and using that to demand export compensation. With the media questions by the central bank and the first American bank, Partney decided to register his own bank, the Exchange Bank Limited. The bank shareholding almost mimicked that of Golden Bank International, with Partney and James Kanyotu each holding a 25% stake. However, when the company was finally formed, the names of other shareholders disappeared and only Kanyotu and Patni remained with one share each of 1,000 shillings. The Fidel had cost taxpayers over $600 million in just three years, making it one of the Kenya's biggest financial scandals. Kamlesh Patni was arrested but the case dragged on in courts for over a decade. Despite being accused of fraud, Patni managed to avoid serving jail time and later started a charge. Fraudulent schemes often involve unrealistic promises of high returns with little or no risks. They also require secrecy and urge you to act fast. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Always do your research and seek professional advice before investing your money. That's it for today's video on how to launder gold, a case of Cambridge Partney. We hope you enjoyed watching and learned something new. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.